Hello, welcome to Basic Photography 101, photo tip number eight, how to set up your digital camera. Digital photography has really changed the world of photography today. In the days of shooting on film, you only had to do three things to take a photo. Decide which film to use and load that film into the camera, whether that be daylight film or tungsten film. Set the film speed, which we called ASA in those days instead of ISO. Then select the f-stop and shutter speed and take the photo. Of course, those days of shooting on film, you didn't have the luxury of taking a photo and then looking at it on the back of your camera and then making a correction. Back in those days of shooting on film, you had to know what you were doing or you'd miss the shot. You really had to understand and know the basic principles of photography, such as exposure, dealing with aperture, f-stops, and shutter speed. In today's digital world, digital cameras are like a small computer. They have menus and submenu settings. You have numerous options for picture quality, color balance, sharpening, and much, much more. Here is an excerpt from my 46-minute video presentation, Basic Photography 101, that explains some of these settings and options. With a digital camera, you'll be shooting on memory cards, which come in a variety of sizes. The more gigabytes a card has, the more photos you can shoot on the card. Digital cameras are like a small computer. They have menu settings and sub-menu settings from setup, shooting, to playback, along with custom options. Also, white balance settings for different light situations. A digital camera gives you several options on picture quality, RAW, TIFF, and JPEG. Depending on your digital camera, RAW and TIFF images come uncompressed and compressed for the highest quality with a broader range of color and more flexibility in correcting exposure mistakes, but may also require special software to access the files, especially the RAW images. TIFF images are higher quality than JPEGs and use more space on the memory cards. JPEG images are compressed and give you more shots on a memory card. There are several JPEG quality options also. Fine, Normal, and Basic. As you decrease the quality setting, you increase the quantity of photos you can shoot on the card. Most photographers prefer the fine setting. The first step to taking control of your photos is taking control of your camera by switching from auto to manual. There are several auto manual modes on both film and digital cameras. In the S mode for shutter priority, you select the shutter speed. The camera selects the aperture f-stop. In the A mode for aperture priority, you select the aperture f-stop and the camera selects the shutter speed. In the P program mode, you have the option of selecting the aperture or the shutter speed as you shoot. The camera selects the other, keeping a correct exposure. In M for manual, you select both the aperture and shutter speed for total control of your photographs. You might want to experiment with these half-auto, half-manual settings to get better understanding of photography and how your camera performs. I hope that little portion of the video helps you understand more about how digital cameras operate. If you are a beginner and just bought your first digital camera, I suggest you read through your manual and get familiar with your camera, go out and take some pictures, and see how it operates. Most new digital cameras have default settings right out of the box. The ISO setting is set at the lowest setting, either 100 or 200. The white balance setting is set at daylight or on auto. 
The shooting and focusing options are probably set on auto. I suggest you leave it there and take some photos, check out the results. As you get more familiar with your camera and photography, switch to the half auto, half manual settings mentioned in the video. The ISO setting and the white balance setting are probably the only two settings you might need to change depending on what you're shooting and the available light that you're shooting in. If you're interested in learning more about photography, my 46-minute video presentation, Basic Photography 101, teaches and explains the basic principles and fundamentals of photography. I guarantee you this is a gold mine of information that every serious photographer should know to be a better photographer. Here is another excerpt from this video. Basic Photography 101 is for the beginner and anyone who wants to know how to take better photos. The purpose of this video is to help you understand the basic principles of photography. Exposure, depth of field, and composition. We'll discuss light, ISO settings, aperture, shutter speed, and other photography terms, making them simple to understand and apply. It doesn't matter if you shoot with a film camera or a digital camera. The basic principles are the same. If you shoot with your camera settings on automatic, the camera is doing all the thinking for you. The camera is adjusting the aperture and shutter speed based on the light striking the subject. You have no control of the exposure. You can only control the composition of the photograph. In this point and shoot method, you get a correctly exposed photograph in most situations. I wish a video like this had been available when I was learning photography 40 years ago. I guarantee you, if you get the video, you will learn and understand the basic principles of photography that will make you a better photographer. To purchase the video, go to my website at www.csphotovideo.com or click on the link below in the description area. You have three options for getting the video. The Blu-ray version, high definition video, is only $29.99. The standard definition DVD version is only $24.99. Or you can download the video for only $19.99. Here on YouTube, I hope you like my presentation and subscribe to my channel for more tips on photography. I also plan to produce more how-to videos on different subjects of photography. Most creative photographers see an image up here before they see the image in the viewfinder. When you know and understand the basic principles of photography, you can create that image in the camera. Thank you, good luck, good shooting.